Right now, Chris Ferguson is uh, being assisted with his launch and entry suit. He's our STS-135 mission com commander. He's making his third space shuttle flight. He's logged more than 28 days in space, and he served as the spacecraft communicator, or the CAPCOM, on four space shuttle missions. He was the pilot on STS-115 and the commander on SAS-126. And this looks like uh, Doug Hurley. Yes, it'd be Doug Hurley uh, going in Marine. Uh, Colonel, he is uh, flying as the pilot on this flight. This is his second flight. Flew a few years ago on 127. Uh, and he's being helped there. You can see the guys out in the white room. They get everybody ready to go. Number four there is Rene Arians. He's another longtime member. And by the way, all the guys that we've talked about so far are USA employees. Doug has gotten in from the mid-deck, and you kind of have to go in through the mid-deck through the hatch, and in the mid-deck you kind of take a right, about a 90-degree right. You have to go through the ladder access, which normally when you're vertical you'd be climbing the ladder. In this case you're going right, and then you actually crawl on the aft panels, and you can see that Randy's actually standing on the aft panels there as he gets folks ready to get in, in the vehicle. So we've got uh, things down there to protect the aft panels, a uh, certain place where you can stand. Like if you notice, for instance, Randy's not standing on the switches. We can't stand there. And this is Sandy Magnus. She's our mission specialist number one. So when she gets in, I think um, she's going to be on the flight deck in the aft right seat. Now this is Rex Waldheim. He's, he's mission specialist number two, but he's also the flight engineer. We do the first comm check with the visor open, so it's just a check of the communication system. After that, uh, we'll go ahead and close the visor and make sure the communications work with the visor down, that nothing gets upset by there. There's no comm cable that's stuck in the visor or anything like that. So we do a comm check with NTD and then with Houston. Chris and Renee have closed the hatch at this time.